Hello and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following problem today. Verify that the numbers given alongside of the cubic polynomial below are their zeros. Also verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient. We have 2x cube plus x square minus 5x plus 2 and zeros as 1 by 2 comma 1 comma minus 2. Now let us understand the key idea. A real number alpha is a zero of a polynomial f of x if f of alpha is equal to zero. A polynomial of degree n can have at most n real zeros. Thus a cubic polynomial can have at most three real zeros. If alpha, beta, gamma are the zeros of the cubic polynomial ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d, then alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a. And alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to c by a. And alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a. Now let us proceed with our solution. Given to us this p of x is equal to 2x cube plus x square minus 5x plus 2. And given zeros are half comma 1 comma minus 2. Now if half, comma 1, comma minus 2 are the zeros of P of X. Then P of half equal to 0, P of 1 is equal to 0 and P of minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, P of half is equal to substituting x is equal to half in the given polynomial p of x, we get 2 into half the whole cube plus half square minus 5 into half plus 2 now is equal to 0. Now solving this further, we get 2 into 1 by 8 plus 1 by 4 minus 5 by 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. This gets cut off. So we get now 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 minus 5 by 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Now solving it further, taking LCM, we get 1 plus 1 minus 10 plus 8 is equal to 0, which implies 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, P of half is equal to 0. Similarly, P of 1, substituting x is equal to 1 in our given polynomial, we get 2 into 1 cube plus 1 square minus 5 into 1 plus 2 is equal to 0. Solving this further, we get 2 into 1 plus 1 minus 5 plus 2 is equal to 0 which implies 2 plus 1 minus 5 plus 2 is equal to 0 which implies 0 is equal to 0 hence p of 1 is equal to 0. Now similarly p of minus 2 substituting x is equal to minus 2 in given polynomial p of x we get 2 into minus 2 to the power whole cube plus minus 2 square minus 5 into minus 2 plus 2 is equal to 0. Solving it further we get 2 into minus 8 plus 4 plus 10 plus 2 is equal to 0 which implies minus 16 plus 4 plus 10 plus 2 is equal to 0 which implies minus 16 plus 16 is equal to 0, which implies 0 is equal to 0. Hence, P of minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, half comma 1 comma minus 2 are the required zeros of given polynomial P of X. Hence, 
verified. Now doing the second part of a question that is verifying the relationship between So, given to us, P of x is equal to 2x cube plus x square minus 5x plus 2. Now, comparing this P of x with ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d, we get a is equal to 2, b is equal to 1, c is equal to minus 5 and d is equal to 2. Now, let alpha is equal to half, beta is equal to 1 and gamma is equal to minus 2. So therefore, alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to half plus 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus 1 by 2, which is equal to minus b by a, which can be written as minus coefficient of x square divided by coefficient of x cube. Similarly, alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to half into 1 plus 1 into minus 2 plus minus 2 into half. This gets cut off. So we get half minus 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 minus 4 minus 2 divided by 2 which is equal to minus 5 by 2 which is equal to C by A which can be written as coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x cube. Now similarly, alpha, beta, gamma is equal to half into 1 into minus 2 which is equal to minus 1 which is equal to minus 2 by 2 which is equal to minus d by a which can be written as constant term divided by coefficient of x cube. Hence, verified. I hope you understood the problem. Bye and have a nice day.